There's flip-flopping left and right, I suppose, but yeah. that's the scary thing, because Tiny, once he gets that Ags, his farm is going to skyrocket. Oh, oh, she's getting caught off dog. She takes the analogy as well. Avalanche toss combination is going to bring him down. Death Ward is up. Doing a decent amount of damage to the side. He's starting to the fight. Looks like he's going to fall. One for one exchange on the flame. Finally gets... Nope, Nether Strike not going to happen. Global Silence stopping him in his tracks. And down he goes. It's a two for one. Two for two, actually. Wisp and the down. Avalanche is going to connect on Ohio. He's easy. He's going to a little bit late. Dodging the chalk, I'm really nice to take the chip chain to the face. He's all alone. This is a one in one battle for the ages. One more right click will do it. Down goes with the timber saw. Arteezy manning up thing. Even with the nerf where it doesn't stun anymore, it's still ridiculously good. A good high skill that's strong. Initiation Zai onto Mushi. Silence is out as well. Avalanche toss combination is way too much damage for Mushi to handle. And as a, he's third in the net worth now. App Berserk was calling last, what, 3.2, I believe? 3.2, and then they follow up with a stun toss. And they can even toss him during BKB, so it's not a guarantee. Oh, Zai's thinking about Mushi. He gets the call up. He gets charged right off the bat, but here comes Arteezy as well. Takes his other strike to the face. He's taking so much damage, but here comes Arteezy with that big, bad Aghanim Scepter. Not able to get the kill on Inflame. Puppy is here to get the kill on DC. Did he take the knife? Mech from S4 trying to spread out the Omni Slash damage. Not able to get himself the kill. Axe flies back into the game. Puppy gets destroyed with the Sandy's Eclipse. Look at the Arcane Hunt doing a lot of damage to S4 as well. Ohio stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. Dies in the middle of a Timber Chain. In the end, it's a two for one. Ehome's advantage overall, costing a buyback of Zai. But they're going to continue to chase. Is there a toss coming out for D onto DDC? Seems like they're going to need it. The slow's out, there's the toss. Boom! Zai takes him out. But Arkeezy gets... I feel like Zai should be getting credit for that kill, by the way. <laughs> like, why is he getting credit for that? He's the one that stomps on his head. Amazing. Very confident plays, if you will. This is going to come back with Arkeezy. I don't know if they were expecting that. Avalanche toss combination. He's going to take an actual imprisonment. Zai, he wants to initiate. He's going to destroy Zai along with the Sanity's Eclipse. And Arteezy, look at how much damage he takes with that Arcane over. He doesn't have the Agent of We'll be back very shortly. Puppy on the run through the river. Kuroki the one we're focusing on. Looks like Puppy will fall in one more right click from that OD. And Kuroki as well. He has another in three seconds. It's not going to be in time. Another after person just kiting the crap out of this tiny. Puppy will actually get out with that TP. And Mushi will not be so lucky, but he's chopped into the ground himself. And Zai comes up with a charge of himself, Yang. Don't think he has anything to work with, just gets destroyed. Arteezy is just 1v3, no problem. Avalanche tops again, Ohio. He has Timber Chain up very shortly. We'll get up to the cliff. We're in a meta than before. So Arteezy's gonna find him. He's gonna miss, unless he wanted to skip the run through. Actually, no, he didn't use it. There it is. Flame is gonna get the Nether Strike. Never mind. That is like the most impossible spell to get off. I feel. Closer Global Silence helps quite a bit in that regard. Ohio already at half health. Kuroki stuck in the trees. That's the target they want to go for, and they blow him up. He doesn't seem to care. He just wants to kill everybody. DBC takes an avalanche. Boxes up. Can't quite get in range. He continues to chop. There's the top. One more right click will do it. And Mushi wants to continue to fight. Or does he take the battle hunger from Zai who's coming to this fight? Omni Slash applied to Arteezy. Zai's going to try to share the damage. Arteezy extremely low. Eho. Can they take out Arteezy? It's not looking like he's going to do it. You're right. The kiting is out of control right now. And Puppy with those orb attacks. Berserker's call is going to help finish off Ohio with the chop. Blink Dagger. I, don't, I think he bought that after he died. It's going to be delayed just a bit. They wait for the Malibu, kill him back up like the Kuroki. The flame charges in, and there he goes. Just like you're talking about, Kuroki is the target of choice, but the silence is there. Poor Puppy. The Blade Nail makes literally no difference against him. He's still going to play because of the BKB. He's just going to fight all his pressure to Mushi. He's forced out himself up, up the cliff. He's going to live for now. He's actually stuck in the trees. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hopefully he can get out soon. They're gonna try to eat their way out. I don't know, but this rack is gonna be down before he gets out of the tree. <laughs> Alright, Chopper is finally here comes the initiation. This might be the last stand for E Home. They've lost two in this engagement. Along with the melee rack, our TV, Avalanche on two, toss again, Zai initiates, and Yang getting to half HP. Chop is not enough for Zai, but the Chop from our TV will do just fine. Ohio. Timber chain to a, a melee, a melee tree and suicides himself being the day. That is GG. You know, all all with stuff you do should revolve around putting the list. I think that is the, the most apparent thing to me in this game that went wrong. Maybe he should have rushed the blink and 
instead of, I mean, the Bloodstone took a long time. No, his, his whole team couldn't perform. Spoonbreaker couldn't get to him. Juggernaut, he has to, like, spin in. Right. OD cannot force that in. And Witch Doctor is just going to die in, like, two hits. So their laning phase was a little bit worse than expected. But against Secret, you have to have a very clean game.